the amps in the world, I feel like the most well-loved ones tend to be valve amps, but if there was one solid state amp that had become a classic, for me, I think the Roland JC120, the Jazz Chorus is the thing that I would have seen most of. Now we have one of these in the Helix, so I wanted to do a, a little video on them. And I wanted to put together like an 80s kind of preset. So the Jazz Chorus came out in 1975. Um, also happens to be one of the amps that the 1975 like to use. So this amp was kind of where the, the Roland Chorus circuit came from, I believe. So what I'm going to do is put here a 70s Chorus. So this is the uh, Helix version of the Boss kind of Chorus vibrato thing. And we'll talk about that a bit more. And then cab-wise, I'm going to put in a dual cab to get some of that stereo-ness. And what we're looking for, the 2x12 Jazz Rivet. So we'll go with the 57. And the 160, why not? Let's try that. Let's turn up some reflections. There's also a spring reverb, three spring reverb in the original uh, run Jazz Chorus. So I guess we could... A stereo. I'm just going to use glitz so that we've got some spare stuff in case we want to put in some extra bits and pieces. Coming out of the gate then. So the manual is pretty much useless. Uh, it's essentially a clean amp. So I'm going to start with everything at five uh, except for the drive. We'll keep that at three and we'll just see how we get. There's also a bright switch look here. So that's important to know. And then the other thing is, so the, the way that the chorus thing is, the original chorus, I believe you couldn't change the rate. So maybe that's the wrong chorus. Maybe I want just chorus. Okay, I think it is 70s chorus, but on the actual chorus on the, yeah, so on the original, neither the speed nor the depth of the chorus effect could be changed, but here you can, and you can change the vibrato speed and the depth as well, obviously. Uh, so we got it on true there and I might change the rate of this to be a bit slower to start with. And what do we get? Cool, and we've got a, a couple of options there. So um, I'll just keep those settings there. So I've got that chorus rate down at 2.4. We're in chorus mode. We've also got vibrato mode. But I guess for, for this kind of 80s stuff, the chorus is where it's at, really. Um, so that, to me, is actually sounding... Pretty decent okay so what else could we put in front of that I guess we're gonna be kind of thinking maybe compressors so maybe the LA studio compressor that's boosting it a massive amount apparently um, so turn the gain down You might want something quite squashy here, um, so maybe try the Rochester comp. Um, this is going to give us quite a boost in level by default, so... That's quite a cool little sound. Uh, I think also people tend to use the just the jazz chorus as like a pedal platform in some cases. So like Steve Rothery from Marillion is one of those individuals. And you know, there's a whole list of people that you've used jazz chorus and it's not like they're all playing exclusively clean tones. So 
you know, a drive that might work quite nicely with this. In my opinion, I think something like a tube screamer, that's what I tend to like, but you know, don't maybe the Diana drive even. <laughs> do that in front of the compressor as well for a certain I think that's got quite a cool little impact. So is this going to work for, I think I might also add a flanger or something um, before to try and get some of the, um, let's try this dynamics and I'm going to put that after the compressor maybe. Yeah. I mean, that's quite a complicated flanger. Maybe if they've got a more straightforward one. Maybe that looks a bit more straightforward. Well, maybe flanger's not the way to go. I don't know. Phaser, maybe. Yeah, why don't I just try phaser? Let's try a uh, kind of script phaser. Where's that one gone? Cool, so that's quite a cool. Um... The other thing you could do, I guess, is consider putting in like a double take type thing if we can get one of these in still. Um, so like a double take towards the end, maybe after the cab, and this could get you. That kind of thing, which we're starting to get to the, the era where people are playing around with stuff in the studio. And that's quite a nice way to kind of spread things around the stereo field. Um, so we've now ended up with quite a lot of stuff in here. So I've got the chorus, the phaser at the start, compressor if we want it. But, cool little tone. Um, and like I say, there is this bright switch here. Oh, a bright, we can just turn up the brightness, so like a presence control. So if you want more sparkle. We've got that bright there at the end. So that's kind of a, a little quick look at what the Jazz Rivet can do if you were looking for something to do some of these 80s kind of tones, I think. Turn off the fader for that. But yeah, that's um, a, a quick look at the jazz chorus. So I would suggest using like a, a the dual cab thing and putting a stereo chorus after the amp before the cab. I think that's a way to get kind of close to what's going on with the real thing. And um, then afterwards, a reverb or delay, whatever you want. 
um, but I was just messing around with that just to, to put together like a little 80s style jazz chorus preset and uh, I'll put together an intro with that now. Catch you in another video soon. Please feel free to like and subscribe. Um, that would help me out if you would. Cheers. Yeah.